I try to connect with my model or whatever I'm photographing. It could be a person, it could be a plant, it could be anything, but whatever I'm photographing, I'm really trying to feel the emotions. Even if it's a rock, there's something there that we connect with. I feel like that we need to understand our surroundings and see the beauty in the simple things, and that's what artists do. My name is Emily Halper and I'm an artist studying at Long Island University Post and this summer I had my first solo art exhibition and it was an amazing experience. I had about 30 to 40 people come and view my art and it was a great time. I just completed my first year at Long Island University and I took all the foundations courses including drawing and 2D design and color theory and I learned a lot, I created a lot of interesting work and I included a lot of it in my exhibition. So we had photography, drawing, painting, um, watercolors, oil paintings. That's why I themed the exhibition Experiencing Moments. It's not to honed into one area. I wanted to let the viewer experience the works and think about my experience creating them. Even going into one photograph, you might be looking at that one photograph at that time, but think about the process it took to get to that location, take that picture, load it onto the computer, edit it, and put it into the exhibition. There's a whole process that goes along with it that I want people to experience with me. At my school, I, because it's a smaller school, I feel like I can be the big fish in a small pond, and I have all these opportunities that I want to grab. So one of these opportunities was my art exhibition. A lot of people, I, from what I hear, don't have their first art exhibition after their first year of college. Usually it comes during their senior year. But I really pushed for this to happen. I got all my pieces together. I got my photographs printed on canvas and acrylic and got a whole bunch of frames and framed them all myself to create a beautiful night. The exhibition itself was incredible, just seeing all of her different works all lined up like that. It just really gave a new perspective on how much she really does and how much talent she really has. I saw her work and I was really amazed at how well of an artist she is. She's a very talented girl and I mean she's got a lot of talents, not just, uh, uh, just painting but photography also and she's got a unique perspective which uh, which is good for a photographer and an artist. So it wasn't just still life, her wasn't just abstract, you know. I could really see her exploration and creativity. The diversity of all the different uh, pieces of work that she had were just incredible. Like some were dark and some were vibrant with color. We live in a uh, senior development and they brought over about a month ago about, about 20 some odd pictures. And I think hers, there's not one of theirs that could beat any one of hers. Uh, it was nice seeing everything all together and, and it kind of creates a, uh, a very wonderful retrospective of all, all her work. I really had a wonderful time at my exhibition. I hope everyone did too. And I want to thank everyone who came out to support me and my friends who helped me set up and take, come and look at my art and my friends who helped me clean up the exhibition. It just, I, I put on a lot of effort and I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have all my friends and family supporting me. When people look at my art and they get joy out of it, it makes me happy, it makes me want to pursue it even further.